Hi, this is Melissa from Mrs. Stoffer's Music Room, and we are going to talk today about linking within Google Slides using pages in the same presentation and also different presentations as well. So we're going to start out in this little hanging out room, which I have opened up here already. And we're going to start with the saxophone that I've added to my hand. Um, and you can see that I have three separate rooms within this presentation. So if I want to link to a slide that's already here, you click the item that you want to link and hit the link button. And instead of pasting a web link, you get this little slides in this presentation and you can pick which slide you want to link to. So I'm going to link to the last slide where I'm playing the piano and hit apply. So then when you go to present or if you're sharing this link with your kids, when they click that saxophone, they're going to go to that page. So let's get out of here real quick. And that's a quick way to move between pages. Now, if you're making one presentation with lots of different rooms, something I'm going to recommend is having one item. Maybe it's just a little exit sign at the top or something like an instrument or the little uh, emblem for your school's mascot, something that's gonna be the same on every single page. And then that is the link that takes them back to home. So something that's really pretty obvious. Now, if I want to link to a different presentation, um, a really good reason to use this is because when you are in present here, you can see that if I share this link with a student, instead of going and clicking links, they might just be able to go and toggle between all of the pages and they don't really have to click to get to anything differently. So really they're just kind of blowing through it without seeing the relation to an item. And that's nice, but if you want to go for um, a little bit more, like they're really going into different rooms, you might want to separate them out. So we're going to go this other presentation. I'm everywhere. And I'm going to immediately go and just publish this to the web. And this is a good way to share things so your students can't move things around as well. So I'm going to copy that link and go back to my hanging out slides. And I'm going to take the chair this time and I'm going to put this web link in there. And then I'm going to do the same thing on this chair right here in the third page. So now when I go to present, if I click the saxophone, I am on the third page. If I click the chair, it takes me right to this other room. And in hanging out again, you can see if I'm on this chair on the first page, because I didn't click it, you can see how that takes me back to this I'm everywhere, which is a really neat way to get your kids out of the same place. And this is a really good thing you might want to do if you are trying to make sure that there's not too much information all in one spot or if you don't want to overwhelm families. Um, if you want to make a separate page for each grade or one for recorder, or one for ukulele, it would be a really good way to kind of keep all of that information separate without uh, overwhelming and putting it all on one page. And then before you share, just put everything in one folder so that you can get to it easily and find it within your Google Drive. Now, if we want to get really fancy, you go to this I'm Everywhere, and I want to link these plants right here, which are part of the picture. There's no link. I didn't put them in there. They were part of the background that I found. Um, and I want to link them somewhere else. So I'm going to open the slides. And what you want to do is create something transparent. So you can see that I can't 
click on it, there's nothing I can do. So I'm gonna go and take a shape and I'm just gonna grab a little square and I'm gonna draw a square right around these plants. Now we don't wanna look at this. So up in the fill color, you make it transparent and make the border color transparent as well because otherwise you're gonna see this little black box. So let's get rid of the border. And then before we click out of here, or even if you click out, you can get back to it. You can actually link right there using the object and not something that you've put in the room. So this would be really good if in, for instance, in this first page that's got the clock, I want the clock to go somewhere. I can link that clock, even though that clock is part of the picture. So I'm going to take my digital music library which oh, I have it opened. We'll just go there because I really want the web link for this right now. I'm going to copy that. And in here, I will paste that and apply it. So now if I go to my original hanging out presentation and I'm going to go into presentation mode and I'm going to click I think I put it here on the chair. Yep. So now I'm in this presentation mode and the kids won't be able to move anything around, but I can click on those plants and it will take me to the library where I can click another link that I've already pre-set up. So those are three ways that you can link in Google Slides that will make it so you can link to different presentations or within the presentation and to outside sources. So I hope this has been helpful and I will see you all soon. Thanks for watching.